Excuse me, can I help you? Are you looking for Prior Maberal or Joffrey? I think he's sleeping, but it must be important. Go ahead upstairs and wake him. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? This cannot be. No one but the Emperor is permitted to handle the amulet. Let me see it. By the Nine, this is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. His meaning is unclear to me as well. The Emperor seemed to perceive some threat from the demonic world of Oblivion. The Prince of Destruction, Merun's Dagon, is one of the Lords of Oblivion. But the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an Emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the Emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the Temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time he would ask about the child's progress. Now it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. need something? Come on! Run while there's still time! The guard still holds the road, but it's only a matter of time before they're overwhelmed. God's blood! You don't know, do you? Deidre overran Kvach last night. There were glowing portals outside the walls, gates to oblivion itself. There was a huge creature, something out of a nightmare, came right over the walls, blasting fire that swarmed around it, killing. Go and see for yourself. Kvach is a smoking ruin. We're all that's left. Do you understand me? Everyone else is dead! It was Savly and Matthias. Some of the other guards helped some of us escape. They cut their way out, right through the city gates. Savly and says they can hold the road. No, no, I don't believe him! Nothing can stop them! If you'd seen it, you'd know! I'm getting out of here before it's too late. They'll be here any minute, I'm telling you! Run when you can!
It's the smell, really. Smoke and fire. And something else. Stand back, civilian. This is no place for you. Get back to the encampment at once. We lost the damned city. That's what happened! It was too much. Too fast. We were overwhelmed. Couldn't even get everyone out. There are still people trapped in there. Some made it to the chapel, but others were just run down in the streets. The Count and his men are still holed up in the castle. And now we can't even get back into the city to help them! With that damned oblivion gate blocking the way. The only thing we can do... We'll try to hold our ground, that's what. If we can't hold this barricade, those beasts could march right down and overrun the encampment! I have to try and protect the few civilians that are left. It's all I can do now. You want to help? You're kidding, right? Hmm. If you're serious, maybe I can put you to use. It'll likely mean your death, though. Are you sure? I don't know how to close this gate, but it must be possible, because the enemy closed the ones they opened during the initial attack. You can see the marks on the ground where they were, with the great gate right in the middle. I sent men into the gate to see if they could find a way to shut it. They haven't come back. If you can get in there, find out what happened to them. If they're alive, help them finish the job. If not, see what you can do on your own. The best I can say is good luck. If you make it back alive, we'll be waiting for you. Good luck. It's a brave thing you do. This is the part where you fall down and... The Nine. I never thought I'd see another friendly face. The others... Taken. They were taken to the tower. Captain Mattias sent us in to try and close the gate. We were ambushed, trapped, and picked off. I managed to escape, but the others are strewn across that bridge. They took many and off to the big tower. You've got to save him. 
I'm getting out of here. The captain is still holding the barricade. I figured I was the last one left alive. All right. I'll try to get out of here and let the captain know what's going on.
over here. Quickly. Quickly, quickly, there's no time. You must get to the top of the large tower. The sigil keep, they call it. That's what keeps the oblivion gate open. Find the sigil stone. Remove it and the gate will close. Hurry, the keeper has the key. You must get the key. Take the key. Don't worry.
I'm just lucky. You closed the gate. I knew you could do it. This is our chance to launch a counterattack. I need you to come with us. You've got far more combat experience than these men. Are you able to join us now? I can wait, but not for long. We've got to move quickly before they have a chance to barricade the city gate. For Kavach! Wipe the bastards out! It's safe to pull those people out of the chapel. Let's get in there and make sure they're all right. Come on, this is only the beginning of the battle for Kavach. We can discuss the next phase once the civilians are safe. Report, soldier. Sir, we're all that's left. That's it? There's no one else? There were others, sir, but they refused to stay put. We tried to convince them it was dangerous, but they left anyway. I guess they didn't make it. Very well. The area outside the chapel has been cleared, and these people need to be taken to safety. Escort them to the camp south of here at once. But, sir... I want to help fight. You will, soldier. Once they're secure, get back here immediately. We'll need every available blade, and there'll be plenty of fighting to go around. Sir, yes, sir. Civilians, it's time to move out. Let's go. I heard about how you helped the guard drive the Daedra back. Well done. The Emperor is dead. Who are you? What do you really want with me? Yes, I'm a priest. Do you need a priest? I don't think I'll be much help to you. I'm having trouble understanding the gods right now. If all this is part of a divine plan, I'm not sure I want to have anything to do with it. If you came to me for help, you're more of a fool than you look. Look around. What good is a priest? Emperor Uriel Septon? You think the Emperor is my father? No, you must have the wrong man. I am a priest of Akatosh. My father was a farmer. You spoke to the Emperor before he died? And he told you to find me? I don't know. It's strange. I... I think you might actually be telling the truth. What does this mean? What do you want from me? You destroyed the Oblivion Gate, they say. You gave them hope. 
you help them drive the Daedra back. Yes, I'll come with you to Wayne and Priory and hear what Joffrey has to say. Lead on. Help! They're killing everyone at Wayne on Priory. I don't know. I think they're right behind me. Prior Maberell is dead. I was in the sheepfold when they attacked. I heard the Prior talking to someone. Looked around the corner to see who it was. They looked like travelers, ordinary. Suddenly weapons appeared in their hands, and they cut the Prior down before he could move. They saw me watching. And I ran. Whew. I don't know. In the chapel, praying, I think. You must help us! You're back. Thank Talos. They attacked without warning. I was praying in the chapel when I heard Prior Maberell shout. I had just time to arm myself. The Amulet of Kings. I fear that was the target of this attack. I kept it in a secret room in Wainon House. We need to go see if it is safe. We'll go together, but I fear the worst. the enemy came here for the Amulet of Kings. Hi there. They've taken it! The Amulet of Kings is gone! The enemy has defeated us at every turn! So it has not all gone against us. Thank Talos for that. We gained Uriel's heir and lost the Amulet of Kings. Martin cannot stay here. We have driven them off, but they will be back once they learn of Martin's survival. Which they will. Nowhere is truly safe against the power arrayed against us, but we must play for time, at least. Cloud Ruler Temple, I think. The hidden fortress of the Blades in the mountains near Bruma. A few men can hold it against an army. We should leave at once. Cloud Ruler Temple was built long ago by the founders of the Blades, back in the days of Raymond Cyrodiil. It is high in the mountains near Bruma, our ancient fortress, sanctuary, refuge of last resort. Martin will be as safe there as anywhere. You may as well take Prime Abrel's horse from the stable. He won't have use for it any longer. We should get moving. I won't rest easy until Martin is safe at Cloud Ruler Temple. Poor Prior Maberell. He was dead when I came outside. Who could have done this? Here. Perhaps you will find this useful. One of the books I saved from my blades training. You go into danger. Joffrey didn't tell us any more than that, but know that our prayers go with you. You too.
put myself in your hands. Grandmaster, is this... Yes, Cyrus. This is the Emperor's son, Martin Septim. Good evening, my lord. Welcome to Cloud Ruler Temple. We have not had the honor of an Emperor's visit in many years. Ah, well, thank you. The honor is mine. Come, your blades are waiting to greet you. Blades, dark times are upon us. The Emperor and his sons were slain on our watch. The Empire is in chaos. But there is yet hope. Here is Martin Septim, true son of Uriel Septim. Hail, hail Dragonborn! Dragonborn! Hail, 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 Martin Martin Septim. Septim. hail! Hail! Your Highness, the Blades are at your command. You will be safe here until you can take up your throne. Your Christ. All of you, I know you all expect me to be Emperor. I'll do my best, but this is all new to me. I'm not used to giving speeches, but I, I wanted you to know that I appreciate your welcome here. I hope I prove myself worthy of your loyalty in the coming days. That's it. Thank you. Well then, thank you, Martin. We'd all best get back to our duties, eh, Captain? Good morning. Not much of a speech, was it? Didn't seem to bother them, though. The Blade saluting me and hailing me as Martin Septim. I don't mean to sound ungrateful. I know I would be dead by now if it weren't for you. Thank you. But everyone expects me to suddenly know what to do, how to behave. They want an Emperor to tell them what to do. And I haven't the faintest idea. Of course, the Amulet of Kings, so we, I, can take it to the Temple of the One and light the dragon fires, and stop the Oblivion invasion. The Emperor? <laughs> That's an idea that will take some getting used to. In any case, we need the Amulet first. Maybe Joffrey will know where to start. Don't worry about me, my Ma'am? You have proven yourself a loyal servant of the Empire, as worthy as any of the Blades to stand by Martin's side during this crisis. As the Grand Master of the Blades, I would be honored to accept you into our order. Will you join us? It is my honor to welcome you into our ranks as a Knight Sister of the Blades. You're right. We must try to recover the amulet before the enemy takes it out of our reach. You should go back to the Imperial City. Boris may have learned something about the assassins. You'll find Boris at Luther Broad's boarding house in the Elven Gardens district of the Imperial City. Give my warm regards to Boris. Tell him Welcome he should not blame man. himself for the You'll Emperor's death. He did well to send you to me. 